And for our live coverage today, we've travelled to the city of Derby in England. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason. It's Derby County versus Brighton and Hove Albion. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Oh, good-looking run. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. David McGoldrick. Jason Knight. Well read to put an end to that attack. Oh, that's a really good run. And a chance to whip it in here. Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? Well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. Connor Hurahan. Knight. Mendes Lang. There's a slide draw pass. And it's still on for him. Cross blocked. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. David McGoldrick. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Plenty of options. March. Takes the shot. And there it is. The breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, it's lovely technique, as you can see. He just wraps his foot around the ball and bends it beyond the keeper. That's a good goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Max Bird nearly at the break then and the visitors have eked out a lead Stuart, an opportune moment I think to get your assessment well they've worked hard and played well to be in front here but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half time plenty of players waiting in the middle strength and control a big part of his game Miguel Drake losing possession here Kaoru Mitoma Jeremy Sarmiento beautifully disguised ball well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him and there it is, the half-time whistle This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but he's generally...